the Buffys would be like the Oscars for Fort McMurray. All the the technical skills, the Ooh. acting skills, the up and comer, the rising the glitz, star, the glam. glam. Oh my goodness! We, we get a, a red carpet. Yeah. What yeah. Red carpet. Yes. There's a carpet rouge. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> This year's Buffies, you've got two fantastic hosts. They're actually the people sitting on this couch, right? I know you're expecting Hollywood stars, but mm -mm. yeah, we're hosting the Buffies this year and I think we're both looking forward to it. My name is Leah and my artistic practice <laughs> is I mostly do performing in various ways. My very first experience actually at Keanu was when I auditioned for Cabaret, which was my first Keanu show. And then I did a few others and it was amazing. I'm Phil Howell and artistic practice. I wouldn't even say I have one of those, but when my fiance and I moved to this community, she's really into acting and whatnot. And I said, you know what, let me let me dabble in this and <laughs> and see how I do. And then I can, you know, be more of a supportive partner and Aww. figure this stuff out. And then come to find that I quite enjoy it and I'm not terrible at it. And I hope I receive some positive feedback. So the process is just fun connecting with people that you like that you probably don't get to spend a lot of time with. And I'm probably looking forward to the actual event itself because I really love live events because they're exciting and you never know what will happen. I think it's just nice getting back into the community, you know? When Hannah approached me, because we no longer live in the community, I still work in the community, but I'm one of those fly in, fly out type of individuals. So I'm no longer entrenched in the community anymore, but I said, you know what? This would be really nice again, like uh, Aaliyah okay. presented. It's, it's You get to interact with people you haven't in a while and yeah it's a great fun supportive community i've never birthed an idea and seen something from like conception to fruition it's nice being on the other side of the creative process yeah. right instead of performing the art you're now getting to create the art so even though it's just presenting it's a little more than that because you get to now start creating something to tell a bit of a story and carry the audience through the evening. An event like the Buffy's is great because it lets, you know, people that are just starting out that you can, right? You're going to gain some acknowledgement mm -hmm. and that's really all an artist needs, right? Is that support of their community so that they can continue pushing forward. It's very nice that the Arts Council Wood Buffalo is putting on something like this to get people the, I guess, support and acknowledgement they need. So when I was growing up, there weren't big awards for arts, like my high school did drama and that was, you know, but if you think about, there's awards for everything, obviously sports and like acknowledgements in your workplace, but I feel like the being acknowledged for something that you do creatively it is amazing because the creative arts are typically seen as fun and jovial and something that maybe not maybe wouldn't be considered like hard work to some people um, that I know to be honest and so when someone else acknowledges your hard work and your skill and your devotion I think like you said it just pushes you to keep doing more and you just feel so grateful that people acknowledge it because I think sometimes it does go to the wayside where people are like oh they're just naturally good at that or oh that's just something for funsies but to have people be like this is really difficult and it's a lot of work and you put yourself out there and then when they acknowledge it you just feel good. Yeah. I'm looking forward to the performances because oh, yes. we'll also get exposed to live art. That's right. During the evening, right? It's not only strictly awards, they're... There's yeah, shows. We, yeah. Yeah, okay. Maybe we'll do an interpretive dance in there. You don't know. I do not know. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> well, you never Smile know. Smile and nod. It could happen. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> could happen. 
And just remember folks, tickets are on sale now. We cannot wait to see you at the Buffy's on October 22nd. I can't my mind. Huh?